Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Schwigget Show. Now, in today's episode, we are going to be doing a speed build of an idea I had of building a hanging house. It actually is going to turn out to be a hanging wyvern house. Um, that idea kind of came along during the uh, process of the build. So, nonetheless, um, I am going to be using the method for building a floating base. If you haven't seen my tutorial on how to build a floating base, uh, check it out. It'll go in detail about what I'm doing at the beginning and the end as far as building a anchor point and then also an infrastructure to support your house and then also the um, destruction of the infrastructure and still maintaining your house. So nonetheless, sit back, relax, and enjoy the music and enjoy the show. So at this point, I'm about halfway done with building my infrastructure. I'm just going to extend it around in a giant rectangle so I have ample room to build whatever house comes to mind. But nonetheless, um, let's fast forward. And there is my completed infrastructure at this point. So let's go ahead and move on and start building our house. <laughs>
Alright, so now at this point I am pretty much done with the house itself, um, but there still is a couple of things that we need to take care of. First off, we have to connect the actual house to the surface level. Of course, we could always fly a wyvern there, but we also have to connect the wyvern landing pad to the house itself as well. Haven't really thought this out yet, but I'm sure something will work itself out. Um, after that, we do still have to destroy the infrastructure as well. So let's go ahead and jump up to the surface and see what happens. <laughs> And that actually worked out far better than I could have even imagined. <laughs> like, I'm really glad it worked out the way it did. Uh, at this point, we just need to bring our wyvern to his new home. And there you go, little buddy. I hope you enjoy. And all we have left now is to destroy that infrastructure. So I'm going to do one last check on the entire build before I do that. Um, 
make sure there's nothing else I want to add or take away. 110%, if you've watched the tutorial, you understand the importance of that. So other than that, I'm going to point out a couple of things I do. Um, first off, I extend the ceiling tile from the main anchor point out one more space. Now this is actually unnecessary. Um, how it is now is totally legit to do the floating base method, but I was a little bit paranoid to be honest with you, so uh, I just wanted to play it safe. Um, second thing is, when I was building the base, I noticed there was a few spots in the infrastructure that I had to extend out. In the process of that, I actually extended it off of the main anchor point, going in the opposite direction of that little shack right there at the top. And that is a big no-no. You'll see it here in a second. Um, and if you've watched the tutorial, again, you'll understand why. So nonetheless, that is another thing that I do have to fix before I start destroying the infrastructure. Uh, the last thing I'll point out is I build a little box <laughs> um, around that last pillar sticking out of the ground, the anchor point. And this is unnecessary again in order to do the floating base method. Um, I actually do this to protect it against myself. I could totally see myself coming back here in the future, seeing that one pillar sticking out, and thinking it doesn't belong, destroying it, and destroying my house. And so again, I build the box to protect my house against myself. <laughs>
there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Schwigget Show, and I'm off to a new adventure. Alright, thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.